Okay, Christmas gifts 2022. I'm going to make alcohol stoves for everybody and throw together a few things to make it into a little kit. I uh, don't have a lot of money this year, so this is kind of what I can do. Um, the alcohol stoves are handmade. They basically are from a beer bottle like this. Now, you can make ones from cans. Um, the only problem is that the ones like this, which start up real quick, and are easy to find and can make, they don't make their own stand. So you have to come up with a way to set it down in the ground and then put a stand. This one is its own stand. And of course I knocked it over. Um, I make notches at the top so the fuel can go through. I use a file like this one. So that's one primary tool you probably need to purchase. A marker, a snap blade, and the snap blades work nice because after each one you almost have to snap it out to start over for you have problems. I use the scissors and the sanding sponge and that's really all the tools. Oh wait, one more thing. To make the holes, I use a press pin to do it by hand. And then I just use um, measurements devices. In this case I use this with a top line which works perfect. Um, and you put the pen on there to circle around. And you can see on here, I have a line there and a line there. And then I'll actually take the knife, put it on here, rotate it, score it, and then I'll use the scissors and then hand peel it off and it'll peel along the score. For the um, one that goes from here to there, which is the inverted part, I use this one I made earlier and it works perfect for that. And I have one done, let's see, it's right here. And you can see inside there, there's alcohol in there, and it's inverted. Um, and then I sand it out so that it's not sharp. Pretty simple device, and I'm going to go ahead and start it up. And I burn each one of mine, and this is alcohol, so it'll start up pretty clear. You can see it burning in there. It takes about two minutes to prime. Let me hit my, give me one moment. Sorry about that. It takes about two minutes to prime, maybe a little less. Um, and I do put in, in between the sleeve, a device like this, which has grooves in it, and that creates a little bit of a capillary action. Without it, it burns slower at a longer pace, but with it in there, it burns faster and will bring it up to boil quicker. So if you bring in water up to boil just for the purpose of heating it up and cooking something, then the capillary action is best. If you actually want to sanitize water by boiling it, Doing the slow method will allow it to boil about five to eight minutes. So this one will get up to about three, four minutes of boil time. Um, going five to eight is a much better sanitizing boil. So that's really all the tools needed. Let me go ahead and put this down while this begins to prime. And it's about a two minute prime, like I said. All right, so it actually, actually went pretty quick because that was about a minute. And you can see that it's already putting some fuel up there. And that has to do with that little insert, the capillary action. Without it, it takes much longer. So you can see that it's doing that. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and put on two cups of water. And I like to put water on two cups because that will allow, let me hit the, let me hit the, okay, I went ahead and hit lap. And so that I can keep track of this. I burn them down each one, run it. And then I see how long it takes and I write those numbers down. So whoever gets the stove for the gift knows basically what they are. Um, let me get rid of some of this stuff in here so it's not here anymore. And yes, you get to see my messy floor because I'm kind of unproductive. So you can see it burning right there. Um, I got plenty of the stoves. So they're going to get a canteen cup. They're going to get the stove. They're going to get a bottle that holds some alcohol. They're going to get a two little cup of soups, one co hot cocoa, and two coffees, and a knife and a lighter. So that's the plan. So let me get this to a boil and we'll go from there and see how long it takes. This is Christmas present 2022. And these Okay, just to interrupt a little bit um, on the boil is going to wait, but there's some flame you can see coming around the sides. And that's because it's not perfectly flat. The thing is that that flame coming around the side actually increases the, uh, the boil time. So I don't have a problem with it. Whenever I see that, I get a nice quicker boil quicker everything so anyway just showing you that you can see that coming around there and that's because the inside is now under pressure 
and pushing the um, alcohol out. Okay, I turned the lights off so you can see the flame coming out there. It's mostly blue with a little bit of yellow at the top. Um, it's kind of a pretty little stove. All right. This pan will also work great with um, this stove, alcohol stove, will work great with small pans. It will heat up and allow you to fry eggs too. You just have to be careful of it over tipping the stand, so you want to make sure that you have it centered correctly. Even with this one, you want to make sure it's centered correctly so the flame is hitting the bottom of it and not going past it. You can see that it's starting to boil. We're starting to bubble up and begin the boil process. And we've only been going for five minutes or about four and a half minutes of actual boil time. Remember the first minute, uh, minute 15 seconds was prime. And that actually primed real quick. You can listen to the stove as it's boiling out on the side, turning into gas and then burning off. It's quite loud. And because it's coming out so fast, it's under pressure because the pot seals the top and forces the heat to push the alcohol vapors up. It's a pretty efficient design. It's not the fastest design. Um, there's different ones, like a Vienna sausage cat can um, design, Vienna sausage design, or cat can design. Um, the two sodas put together design. I have one of those floating around here somewhere. All right, this is an example of two cans put together, and it has an inner wall. Um, anyway, it's getting close to boiling, and we've been going now, almost going exactly eight minutes, and that's only about seven minutes actually on the stove, the first minute and 15 seconds was prime. So it's getting real close. Once it's boiling out, I'll let you know. All right, we're at nine minutes. It's essentially at a boil, it'll get faster. Um, it's pretty well at 204 degrees. Um, the stove may be one that burns a little quicker than the other ones. But I do two ounces, uh, or two cups, not two ounces, I do two cups. And one of the reasons for that is that uh, the Mountain House still, uh, Mountain House meals that you bring camping will um, take either a cup and a half to two cups. And I want to make sure I have enough hot water to do that. And now I'm going to let it run for a while and see how long the stove will actually burn. It's getting low. So this was a fast stove. Everyone's a little different. These are made by hand. Every stove operates a little different. Some go longer, heat up slower. Some heat up quicker and burn out faster. There's only so much energy you're going to get in one ounce of alcohol. It's how efficient it is and how quickly it burns. It heats things up. This is a very fast burner stove. Probably won't burn quite as long. And you can see it's burning pretty good. A lot of times when you see alcohol stoves on YouTube, they're only doing eight ounces, which is one cup. But other than brass or eating some ramen noodles, something like that, I generally find I need a cup and a half to two cups. So that's what I measure mine on. You can see how much flame is coming up over the side here. May not be the most efficient use of the flame, but not much you can do about it except smoothly sand down the top and try to get it smoother so less air gap between the stove and the camping cup. But that still heats up pretty good and it's blue, so it's not wasted fire fire. Anyway, that's enough talking. We'll see what happens long this burns and I'll get back with you. But these are the gifts. All right, real quick, um, when you're using this type of stove and you see the flame coming off, the handle is going to get hot. So always use a rag or something to let it cool down. Grab a hot pad or something that you can use when you go to pour it into your meal or add stuff to it. You can see that it's starting to slow down, but it's still got a lot going over the bottom and still heating up. It's boiling pretty quickly. This stove, by the way, will probably prime itself in 15 to 20 seconds. I have a couple different stoves that will prime themselves in 5 to 10 seconds. But um, this one is its own stand, so I like it best for convenience. I'm getting closer to burnout. You can still see it's boiling quite vigorously, and they just went out. And I burned for 13 minutes and 43 seconds. So it's not the longest. I have a couple of them that went 16, 17 minutes. And like I said, every stove, even though I'm making the same technique, will have different results. For instance, most of my stoves, you see that aluminum burn part? That little horseshoe there is actually taller. This one is not because it was shooting the flame away a little bit further. 
So whatever I did, however, I made that inner capillary action shield, the one that looks like this and that kind of goes around the inside carefully. It was more efficient at creating the capillary, therefore allowing the fluid to go up, evaporating, and push out. Some of them are not quite as effective, um, and if I don't put one in, they tend to burn the longest, but they don't heat up quite as quick on the blending. So everyone's a little different, so that's the gift, and I'll throw in some other parts on what I'm adding to it. Okay, so the alcohol that I'm using is 190 proof grain alcohol, and the reason I use that instead of isopropyl alcohol from the pharmacy or general purpose store is that this has some pollutants in it that will make you sick, therefore they can sell it without um, being alcohol itself. And of course the pollutants will, when you cook on it, will cause this to turn black and um, I'm afraid of that stuff getting in the air. So I prefer to use a cleaner fuel like this, which is just going to be grain alcohol and water. It's essentially vodka and it has no other materials in there. It burns really blue. You can see that on the stove. And then I put two ounces in this bottle here. So what's in this, in this right here would be two ounces of alcohol, the stove, two packages of coffee, two packages of cup of soup, and one hot cocoa, like that. So it gives you some uh, beverage, two, three beverage, two beverages, coffee and cocoa, and it also gives you some nutrition, which is soup. It's just for fun. It's just to make a handmade stove. And then I have a lighter and I have a uh, cheap, very cheap Walmart pocket knife that was on France a couple years ago, and I still have a bunch. And it's a nice heavy duty knife though. I really like it. Um, and that'll take care of the gift, gifts this year for everyone. So that's the plan, so that's what it's going to look like. You can see the stove underneath there for the camping cup for me. And um, that's the plan.